Hey what's up guys welcome to Tech Day and today in this video I'll be showing the Google Assistant for the iPhone. So finally Google announced the Assistant for the iPhone and it is available as an application on the App Store. And if you want to get this application you can get it from the US App Store. So for the first time when you open this application it will ask you to log into your Gmail account set up everything for you. So as you can see the interface of the Google Assistant is similar to that we have seen on the Android. Now here are a few options that we should go through. Here is a microphone symbol to activate the Google Assistant and to the bottom left corner you can see the keyboard symbol. When you click on that you can simply type the message to the Google Assistant. This is a new feature that has been added to the Google Assistant. And at the top right corner you can see there is an icon present over there. When you click on that it will take you to this page over here. So here you can see explore. It is nothing but it will give you all idea what you can do with the Google Assistant on your iPhone. And to the next that you have the US stuff. Here you can see that whatever the reminders and events that you have set using the Google Assistant are visible over here. So whenever you need it, you can simply look over there. And to the next dot, you have the three dots. When you click on that, it will bring up some options like account settings and etc. Now let us get back to the Google Assistant and try asking few questions. You can also use the keyword OK Google to activate the Google Assistant. And there is also a widget available for this application so that you can simply use the Google Assistant whenever you need it. So just click on the edit and add the Google Assistant widget over here. So once you have done that, now you can just click over here to bring up the Google Assistant, as you can see. Now let us try asking few questions. What's the weather for today? And it simply works really fine, as you can see. Now let us try asking question like opening an application. Open messenger application. Now this is what happening with the Google Assistant. It is not capable of opening applications on the iPhone as of now. As you can see it simply says that sorry I don't know how to open that but I'm still learning. Now let us try asking few more questions. One more thing is that it is capable of opening applications like Google applications. Uh, let us try asking open Google Photos. As you can see it will simply open the Google Photos application if it is installed on your device. As you can see it will simply take you to the Google Assistant, I mean to say Google Photos if it is on your device. So it is capable of opening the Google Apps as of now. Now let us try asking another question. Turn on Wi-Fi. And again you can see it is not capable of changing Wi-Fi settings on the iPhone. So you might have got an idea that Google Assistant is not capable of interacting with the internal system of the iPhone as of now. As it is not the default artificial intelligence that comes with the iPhone therefore it is not capable of interacting with the internal system of the iPhones as of now. As you can see it is not able to turn on the Wi-Fi. Now let us try asking another question. Who is the President of United States of America? It brings up the answer as you can see. Now let us try asking another question. 5 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 equal to And as you can see it is really good at answering math equations as well. Now let us try asking another questions like getting directions. Get me directions to the nearest restaurants. And if the Google Maps application is installed on your device it will simply take to that application. Now let us try asking another question like I will just type my message and let's see if this feature is working well or not. Now you can see it is working as well. What is my name? Let us try asking another question. What are you doing? Let us try asking one more question. Tell me a joke. As you can see, it even tells a joke for you. And here are some options below you can see one more random one you can pick one and it will simply answer to that question over here as you can see. So I would say that in terms of interaction and communication Google Assistant is better than Siri. Now let us try another question. Can you remember me? I have parked my car at 5.
as you can see it is capable of remember instead of setting the reminder it will simply remember and when you ask google assistant what i asked you to remember it will simply give you the answer so in terms of communication i would say that google assistant is really good so guys that's it for the day hope you guys like this video this is a quick review about the google assistant on the iphone and i'll see you guys in our next one tick tick